humans are not just made to survive, but to thrive. We are all born with a burning passion for battling to push and pull to success, which stems beyond mere survival. Missteps are a piece of life, however, and successful people have fought their losing battles to win. Even before recorded history, there was no great success without failures. In today's video, we are going to hear five failure to success stories. Hey, everybody! Welcome to the Think Lab. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos. Let's get started. Success can be achieved only through repeated failure and introspection. Honda, born in a small village in Japan, Soichiro Honda was a curious individual, very interested in machines, tools, and vehicles. He never attended school and learned everything practically in his father's bicycle shop, which enriched his capabilities. The evolution Japan encountered from agriculture to manufacturing pushed him further, making him leave his hometown for Tokyo with the aim of working for Toyota, as he always dreamt, though unfortunately got rejected because he did not meet their standards of engineering. He had to enroll in technical school. After working for two years, he finally devised a design that matched Toyota's quality. However, he still needed a factory to manufacture the rings, which he could not source the requirements to build since Japan was in war against the United States. He did not give up and managed to construct his plant, but it was bombed twice during the war. He was still resilient and rebuilt his factory. This time, a massive earthquake hitting Japan destroyed Honda's plants. It made him get entirely out of business by selling his manufacturing techniques to Toyota. Later, a massive fuel shortage hit Japan due to the war, which made transportation around the country inaccessible. Honda came up with a solution for this issue. He put a motor on his bicycle and used it as a transportation vehicle. This invention attracted people and they flooded him with their requests. Honda got back in business. However, he did not have the capital to construct all the ordered scooters, so he contracted 80,000 bicycle shop owners asking for their support to invest in his new invention and received even more than enough. Within a decade, Americans had adopted the idea of Honda, and today Honda is one of the leading automotive manufacturers winning races around the world. to coffee mugs and I am pleased to have Sparky right here with us at this table. Welcome. Thank you, Charlie. People it's still a... call you Sparky? Well, I hope so. <laughs> uh, if you hear anybody ever call me Charlie or Charles, then you know that they really don't, don't know, me. know me. All his life he tried to be a good person, many times. However, he failed for after all, he was only human. He wasn't a dog. Charles Schultz. Charles Schultz faced a lot of rejections during his childhood, but not once thought of giving up in life. School was difficult for him and he failed in 8th grade and also high school. Sports didn't occupy him much and he lost the most crucial match of the season. Other kids avoided him, giving him the feeling of being a loser at times. Later, his staff rejected every cartoon he submitted and he found it very hard to fulfill the expectations, but he still kept himself determined to prove himself to the world. Charles Schultz had a tendency to draw right from his childhood and spent most of his free time doing it. He got in for more after being rejected for his artwork during high school. He submitted his cartoons to many studios, including Disney, and he kept trying hard, although he got turned down by every single one. Don't say a word. I don't want to hear a word. Even if it's a failure, you're a flop. 
He was drafted into World War II later, which he admits taught him all he needed to know about loneliness. After the war, he was rejected by the woman he had dated and went back ahead to seek his interests, determined to reveal his life story in cartoons. He finally got picked up by United Feature Syndicate in 1950. Failure is unimportant. It takes courage to make a fool of yourself. Charlie Chaplin Charlie Chaplin was brought up in poverty and loneliness. His father was never a big part of his life and left the family when he was a child. His mother was doing stage shows to earn money with her voice. Surprisingly, she lost her voice. The primary source of her income. Leaving them with no shelter, Charlie experienced sleeping in the park and survived by stealing his food. When his mother got too ill to look after her sons, he and his brother started making their lives by dancing in the street. His mother got admitted to the hospital until her death and his brother joined the Navy later, leaving him all alone. This is the difficult stage of his life. Charlie became a children's dancing group member and began performing at an early age. Charlie's act was popular, but he didn't meet his dreams of being a performer. Soon, he performed as a newsboy in an unsuccessful show that closed after two weeks. Then, Charlie played the role of a page boy in a Sherlock Holmes production. In 1908, he joined the Fred Carnot pantomime company, where he became one of its stars. Getting his first taste of the US producers began to contract him until he made his film debut, turning into Charlie Chaplin. In the 1940s, his popularity dipped rapidly because of being accused of communist sympathies. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. you FBI opened an investigation and forced him to leave the United States. Not even this could deviate Chaplin from his goals. Nearly the end of his life, he received honorary Academy Awards on his last visit to the US. Charlie Chaplin won an Oscar award and died as a superstar. I shall seize fate by the throat. It shall certainly never wholly overcome me. I shall hear in heaven. Ludwig van Beethoven was an unhappy man suffering from chronic diarrhea, liver disease, and depression. His childhood was dominated by his father, an alcoholic who would beat him for trivial mistakes, and this made everything harder for him as a child. He was called hopeless as a composer by his teacher and was attacked for handling the violin awkwardly by the musicians. His music was criticized for being weird and unexplored. Later, he got paranoid and failed at most relationships. However, he kept believing his own compositions and his explorative nature. Beethoven noticed difficulties with his hearing when he was about 28 and ultimately lost his hearing by the time he was 45. Yet he managed to write five of his uplifting symphonies, some of the most glorious music in history. People didn't realize Beethoven was a composer of extraordinary versatility and he never got what he truly deserved, but he stayed unmoved. But the conquest of Japan, hand in hand with our American allies, is a formidable undertaking, which we must and will see through to the end. Courage is going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. Winston Churchill. Sir Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill 
best remembered for his leadership of the United Kingdom during the darkest years of the Second World War, had significant blows in his life. He failed in school and started an early political career that was tumultuous. He got defeated in all the elections for public office until he finally became the Prime Minister at the age of 62. During his political career, Churchill had numerous failures. A complete failure occurred when he tried to establish a satin link with Russia in the First World War. During the Second World War, he got defeated by the Germany army. Churchill has assumed as one of the most impressive leaders in spite of all the criticism and it seems that failure beat him up. He received the Nobel Prize for Literature for the book The Second World War. In 1963, the US Congress granted him honorary American citizenship. In 1940, Time magazine honored Churchill with the Man of the Year. Never give in, never give in, never, 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 never. In nothing, great or small, large or petty, never give in except to convictions of honor and good sense. Never, 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 never give up. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let us know down in the comments if there's any subject you want us to cover in the future. See you in the next video.